think the most popular cities to visit in Canada would be Toronto, Calgary, and Vancouver. Uh, some people also really enjoy Montreal. I think the average time people would like to spend in each city, I think Toronto is maybe three or four days, Calgary would be two or three days, and Vancouver, Vancouver you could spend probably five days I think in Vancouver. I think if you want a mixture of city and outdoor adventure, Calgary, uh, Calgary or Vancouver is excellent for that. Calgary is in close proximity to the Rocky Mountains where you have Banff and Lake Louise. It's a lot of beautiful hiking paths, uh, skiing, snowboarding, as well as Vancouver. You have a wonderful mix of the oceans, the mountains, um, everything is really close by. Whistler is only an hour and a half stop away again. You can do mountain biking, skiing, snowboarding, hiking, a lot of great lakes around there. So I think those two cities in Canada would be the best places for the city and outdoor and wildlife sort of holiday. Absolutely. Every city in Canada is going to have something different to offer. When you go to Halifax, you can take an excursion and go to Peggy's Cove, see the lighthouses. Uh, Quebec City, you can do whale watching excursions along the St. Lawrence River. Toronto, going up the CN Tower, get the incredible views there, or do a day trip to Niagara Falls. And then moving on to Calgary, the Calgary Stampede is in July every year, and it's a 10-day rodeo, so there's a lot of different events going on in the city during that time. And moving on to Vancouver, Vancouver has wonderful activities. You can go whale watching, you can do a day trip over to Victoria, over to Vancouver Island, um, as well as there's Grouse Mountain, you can see the bears there as well. Um, they have a wonderful aquarium to check out. There is a lot to do in each city in Canada. Yes, absolutely. Um, a lot of the packages that we have that are shown online give you ideas of places to go, but even then we can alter those. It's not a problem at all. Um, depending on the amount of time that you have, Canada is a very, very big country, so depending on the amount of time you have, you could go for you know as short as four or five days up to three weeks to a month. Um, some shorter itineraries would include places like Toronto, uh, on Ottawa, Montreal, and Quebec. Um, those are really easy places to drive from place to place. Um, don't forget about the Maritimes. The provinces there are quite small, easily accessible, not many people on the road, so it's really easy to get around from Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island. Very easy access to get in there. Very popular one to do for fly drive is from Calgary to Vancouver and over to Vancouver Island. A lot of people will drive from Calgary over to Banff, up to Jasper, maybe stopping in Sun Peaks along the way is kind of a halfway point, and then moving on to Whistler, Vancouver, and then going over to Vancouver Island for a couple of days. Um, alternatively, there's another route that you could take from Calgary, going from Calgary, Banff, Lake Louise, and then over to the Penticton area, wine region of British Columbia, and then on to Vancouver. I think must-dos in Toronto would be definitely go up the CN Tower, um, has spectacular views there, as well as don't forget to take in, they have baseball, basketball, hockey, um, those are must-dos in Toronto as well. They also have the Hockey Hall of Fame if you're into the uh, good old Canadian sport. And then Calgary, uh, Calgary has COP, which is the Canada Olympic Park. Uh, so that's where they had the 1988 Olympics and they still have lugeing and bobsledding as well as if you're there in the winter you can go skiing. They also have a zip line which is incredible. Vancouver, Vancouver is an amazing city to rent a bike and bike around Stanley Park. There has a full seawall there, plus it feels like you're just outside of the city. Um, they have totem poles and beautiful beaches along the way there as well.